G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is a way of multiplying using lines to get our answer. It's, a, it's an interesting little method. I'll show you how it works. I'll give you an example. Uh, 12 times 13. Now the way we do this is we draw diagonal lines uh, running from left to right but going diagonally. Uh, you'll see what I mean. So here we go. 12 I draw as 1 and a 2 and 13 I draw as 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay, and what I do is I separate these up into where the units collide together, where the tens and the units of these collide together, and where the tens and the tens collide together. So what you'll see here is how many intersections do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the units. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in that part, in the tens, and in the hundreds, we have a one. And that's our answer, 156. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? I'll tell you what, I'll uh, put another one up there and see how you go with this. You might uh, might give this one a go, pause it before maybe uh, just as I ask the question and then see how you can go with it. So, here we go. Uh, the question I'll ask is 14 times 12. So you might want to pause that, see how you go. But the way I work this out is this. I go, so 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 for the 14, and 12 is 1, 1, 2. Okay, so then I separate these up, and so we end up got our units, our tens, and our hundreds. And how many intersections do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 there, and 1 there. So the answer is 168. Pretty cool, right? Alright, let's go uh, a, a different one. What about we um, get one where we have a bit of a remainder and, and, and how you deal with those? It's, it's very similar to actually normal. Uh, normally how you deal with remainders. You just carry things across. So I might put a different colour up. I'll get, I'll get excited here. So what about we do 14 times 13? Um, so we draw this as 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Almost forgot that one. And we do uh, 13. So 1 and 1, 2, 3. Okay, so let's see how we go with this. Um, okay, this colour now. And for the units... That will be our tens answers there, and this will be our hundreds. So let's have a look. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We put the 2 down, and we carry the 1. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus this one is 8, and then 1. And that's our answer. Pretty good, eh? What about I uh, give you a, uh, I'll give you an example of this. So, I'll give you a, a chance at answering one of these. Uh, the question I'll ask you is this one. I'll get you to do 15 times 30. And remember these, you will have to carry answers across. So, the question we get is this. We, uh, the way you do it, pause it, give it a go. Alright, so here you go. So, we have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 13, 1, 1, 2, 3. Oh, that wasn't very good. What about I'll undo that and just draw that again. One, two, three. And so our answer is going to be there, there, and there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen there. Carry the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus one is nine. And that one there is a hundred and ninety-five. Alright, what about I go some bigger numbers, some nastier looking numbers? Um, it's a pretty cool method, right? I, I really, really like this one. So, let's have a look. And the question I'm going to ask now, what about a bigger number? 211 times 14. And we'll see what that equals. So, the way I do it, left to right, is 211. 1, 2, and 11. 1, 1. Times 14, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this one you're going to be a little bit more careful separating up. We're going to have these ones here, these ones here, 
these ones here and these ones here. Okay, so let's see how many intersections we have. We have one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have one, two. Our answer, 2,954. What about, I'll give you one last example. I recommend with this one, you pause it and you give it a go and see how you go. All right, uh, the question I'll give you a very similar one to that sort of, uh, you know, that two, three digit number type thing. What about 212 times 13? Okay, pause it, give it a go. All right, here you go. Let's see, well, now, you should have gone one, two, and then one, and then two, and then 13, one, one, two, three, and then we'll separate these up. So this one's, these one's, these one's, and these one's. And our answer uh, is as follows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six in the units. We have one, two, three, four, five in the tens. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the hundreds, and one, two in the the thousand, so 2,756. Hey, that's a pretty cool method, right? Uh, the only limitation I can really think with this method, uh, it can get a little bit difficult occasionally to line things up. You've got to be a bit careful with that. And also, when you start to get ridiculously big numbers, uh, you know, like, I'm not talking big numbers in 2,100,000, you know, where there's lots of ones and twos. I'm talking where you start to get lots of sevens and sixes. It can get rather uh, just more tedious to try and uh, add things up. Okay. Anyway, hopefully you like that method. Let us know. Okay. See ya.